Hey guys, so I was about to work out and then I remembered that I actually wanted to film a little bit about the stuff that I had to get for PA school. So after our interview process, they told us like a list of things that we have to get done before we start the graduate phase. And so I'm going to bring you along on that journey. I'm going to show you guys what I'm getting in terms of equipment and like what I have to do for training. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into it and I just thought it would be interesting because you probably wouldn't know about this process unless you were doing it yourself so I thought it would be informative to film it. As you guys already know Tiffany and Winston got me a stethoscope and that is one of the items that I need for PA school so they got it from All Heart which is like a website that sells medical equipment. They got me the case and the stethoscope from All Heart. They got me the Lippmann Cardiology 4 stethoscope. It looks like this. It's got the diaphragm here, Annabelle, so it's like double-headed. I don't really know if that's what it's called, but one side's for pediatric, the other side is for adults, and then on the side here, there's like a mesh pocket. I keep the pamphlet for the stethoscope just in case I need it while I'm out and about, and then I also keep this small bag of replacement ear plugs for the stethoscope. So basically everything that I might need is in this mesh pocket. Next, we were told to get an otoscope ophthalmoscope diagnostic set and they gave us websites where to buy them and things, but I just wanted to look online to see if I could get it any cheaper because number one, the website that they recommended they did have like a student sale but it was still pretty expensive for something that i knew nothing about the regular person wouldn't really know what types of otoscopes and ophthalmoscopes are out there and i was watching a whole bunch of youtube videos about these med school students and like which diagnostic set they bought a lot of them weren't really recommended to get like a specific type they just got one off of amazon that just help them out throughout med school. So I think it really depends on where you go, but my school specifically recommended two. One is the writer and then the other one is Welch Allen. So between the two, I started asking around. I have upperclassmen friends that got the writer one and I have other friends that got the Welch Allen one and they all have pros and cons. So I really personally just wanted the Welch Allen one because I've heard that it's easier to switch the heads in and out and then also it is more expensive but it's not that much more expensive so in my head i thought okay if it's more expensive but it's easier to use like why not if it was like a thousand dollars more i probably wouldn't get it but it was it was like not that much more. They gave us the name of the diagnostic set that they wanted us to get. So I took it upon myself to try to look for one that was a little cheaper than what was being sold on the site that they recommended. And I have a story time for you guys because I actually got my set off of eBay and I bought it from someone who is in med school, but she already had a different diagnostic set from my hand-me-down and so she bought this one and then realized that she didn't need it anymore so she had opened it but never used it my school also said like if you were going to get the welch allen one they also recommended you to get a bulb and also extra specula so that's just extra money on top of the set itself i saw her posting at first and it had the diagnostic set and the bulb so in my head i said that's a pretty good deal she's gonna give me two of the things that I already need and it was cheaper than the price that they sell it on the website and so when I was talking to this eBay seller I messaged her just to make sure that it was the correct model and she said that it was and then I asked her like does she have extra specula because I'm going to PA school and they are asking me to get some extra ones and so she messaged back saying that she does have some extra so she'll just put them in the package and that was already one of the highlights of my interaction or transaction because she definitely did not have to give this extra specula to me so this is the welch allen diagnostic set it's a lot smaller than i thought like i thought it would be bigger but in comparison this is the diagnostic set this is the stethoscope this is what it looks like on the inside so this is the base of the 
set and what I think is really cool about this one is that it's rechargeable so you don't have to constantly replace it with the huge batteries you can just like stick this into the outlet and then it charges this is the otoscope head so if I attach it and click it in this is what it looks like that's the light so if you guys can see this is where you would attach the extra specula if I switch it for the ophthalmoscope head, which looks like this. This is what this one looks like. It also has a light. So this is the set that I got. I think it's really easy to use, even though I don't know how to use it. I just know how to assemble it, which I think if I can figure that out without having to take a whole course on how to use this thing, I think that's pretty good. As for the extra stuff that she gave me, she included the bulb because that was part of it. So this is what the bulb looks like. I don't really know what it's for. My school recommended that we get it. So if I need it, then I'll have it. I also got the extra specula. So this is what it kind of looks like. It's like the little tips coolest thing for me or it was not that cool but it was just really nice to know that like I kind of made a connection with the person that I bought it from was um the fact that she remembered I said I was going to PA school so I'm just gonna cover up the address and everything but she had wrote good luck in PA school that was so nice of her and honestly I got a good deal and I you know had a good transaction so all in all i'm just saying like yes this stuff is expensive but you can probably find it for cheaper online and if you're lucky you'll come across someone who is as nice as the person that i bought it from hey guys so i actually just got back from the doctors i had to go get a booster shot for one of my immunizations that i don't really know if it was a negative um because if i look at the results it says that okay so it says that it's equivocal which i think means that it's like in the okay region but it's not quite a positive and it's also not a negative so i don't really know what that means but she gave me a booster anyways like my doctor and then um we have to see in a month's time if that goes up so that's what i went to do this morning but then when i came back i got my white coat it was delivered so i want to show you guys that the place that i went to get it is called uniform city this is my white coat and then there's the embroidery the one thing is i've tried it and it kind of looks huge so i'm gonna try it again without the flannel on and then and then we'll see how it looks look there's my booster shot. I got a size medium just because I feel like you're gonna grow. I don't know if I'm gonna grow anymore, but I didn't wanna get something too small. So I got a medium and this is what it looks like. Like, I don't know if it's too big or if it's just right. Honestly, I would have liked it a little bit more if it was just a little more tapered. Okay, so I'm trying it in my room because I feel like it's a better view in terms of the mirror. Now that I'm wearing it here, I feel like it's not that big. Like, it just looked so much bigger when I tried it on before. I think that this is okay. I think this was a good buy. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a morning. I was running around doing a lot of stuff for the PA program, I was trying to get all the things on the checklist done, but there's just, I don't know how to explain it. There's just a lack of communication between departments in my school. So when I try to do certain things to get the forms that I need and everything like that, it's just very hectic. When I go to these different departments, they're like, I don't know what that is. Like, and it, it frustrates me because obviously I'm not the first PA student that they've ever had. So it's not like this is new. Yeah, I'm just trying to remain calm. One thing I do notice is that I just like to get things done all together at one time. So if I'm doing this right now, if like if I'm doing the forms for the medical stuff, I would rather just have them all done have them all uploaded at the same time and then check that off the list so that I don't have to worry about it anymore. So that's what I've been doing this morning. 
been emailing a lot of people, been calling a lot of people. And now I'm going to be doing my HIPAA certification course, which is something that we have to do in order to, I guess, like practice, but also become a PA student, medical student, stuff like that. And I just paid for it. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Yep. Just wanted to update you guys because I'm just keeping it real. Like this is just me ranting to be honest, but take it one day at a time. We've got this. Guys, I literally could not be more annoyed. I'm just trying to scan my paperwork into the computer and it is just, it's deciding that it doesn't want to work today. Why is the whole world against me? I just, mm, someone, hello, computer. Okay, okay, it's loading. Let's see, document, yes, PDF, okay scanning are you gonna scan printer are you gonna scan it's scanning okay guys we're getting somewhere hey guys so this is going to be the end of the video i forgot to close out but i did just want to say that i do have a couple of things left for the checklist just like training things so i didn't think that was interesting enough for me to film about but if you want to know more about it i probably talk about it in a future video in like a vlog or something so keep your eye out for that if you're interested and hopefully we will film and upload more this summer and that's about it. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.